what is up everyone welcome back to the channel and yes we have part two of animal crossing 2.0 secrets some that you may have missed uh, a lot of you guys loved part one and i told you in the comments to put if you wanted me to make a part two and here we go a lot of you said yeah a lot of you said keep them coming uh, i want to just throw out the disclaimer again that these are spoilers so if you are sensitive to spoilers Click off the video, but for everyone else that is here, we have even more 2.0 secrets uh, to show off today. And I gotta say, there's even more than this. So if you want a part three, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, we're at Harv's, and honestly, I probably should make a whole Harv video because there's so many secrets in here. The first one, we're gonna be starting with Katrina, okay? Now, Katrina has secrets, all right? So if you go to Katrina, you can do a few things, okay? You can uh, see what your luck is like. You can put a friendship spell on one of your villagers, which doubles your friendship level with that villager. But there's also one more hidden thing. So if you are talking to Katrina, uh, this only happens if she gives you bad luck, okay? So you actually want bad luck from Katrina. So if you talk to Katrina and she says you have bad luck, she does, you know, give you your unfortunate fortune. And uh, she then tells you, though, that you can purchase a purification potion for 10,000 bells. Now, it might seem like a lot, but it is totally worth it because you get rid of your bad luck. But there's also a secret that happens after that. So let's go back to my island and I'll tell you more. So once you get that purification potion from Katrina, your luck is reversed. Okay, so it goes back to normal. But that's not all, because the next day, you will find a letter in your mail from Katrina. And I'll put it, I'll put an example on the screen for you. And basically she's saying like, I hope, you know, the purification spell worked and everything like that. Uh, she also attaches an item to that letter with good luck attached to it. So Katrina has her very own item set. And I want to show you the items today. Well, I want to show you some of the items. I'll, I'll keep some a secret for you. Uh, but let's just check out some of these items, and I don't know if they're in order or not, or if there's like a, you know, special order or random order, but I think these items you're going to want to see, okay? The first thing is the horseshoe door decoration, okay? So this is the first thing. Obviously, horseshoes, good luck. I, I really like this, and it's subtle too. It's not like fortune teller vibes, like you can have this on a western town or anything like that. But that is one of the items. There's a really cool item coming up that I think is you guys are going to love. Uh, this next one is a gold turtle figurine. Interesting. I mean, if this doesn't scream good luck, I don't know. I mean, it's a gold turtle with coins around it. That's probably one of the best items in the game currently. And then I thought this was super cool. This is the item I think everyone is going to want to want. Uh, it is a power stone, which is Katrina's crystal ball. Okay, now you can interact with it and it actually gives you different interactions. So let's hit A. Look at that. Guys, this is so cool. You hit that little purple thing. It does change. I promise it does change. I promise it changes. Come on, <laughs> do it for me. Okay, there we go. There's a green, there's a red. So you can literally build your own Katrina area on your island. Let's see if it changes again. Yeah, that's like cloudy. That was like a clear one. I've never seen that before. But I just thought it was cool that Katrina has a secret item set. All right, next up is an update to Tom Nook. So if you didn't know this, uh, I, th I don't know what's happening, guys, but I think Tom Nook is actually growing a heart. It might be, it, this is weird. Uh, but here's the thing. Some of the prices have changed within, you know, Tom Nook's like, you know, uh, editing your island and things like that, like construction wise. Uh, okay, so there are a number of things we can discuss. Now, I want to go to layout changes. And I want to remind you guys that the price to move an Islander's house used to be 50000 okay? So, let's just move someone random. I don't know. Let's move Sly, for example. Um, the construction cost will now run you 10,000 bells. That is a significant discount than what it was before. Uh, this is like something that's just a small quality of life thing, but I think is going totally under the radar. So the fact that it has dropped that much, I mean, 40,000 bells, that is going to be amazing, especially if you're resetting or flattening your island. 
10,000 bells isn't too bad to move a house. All right, I'm in my very depressing house, okay? Just don't, don't pay it much attention. I wanted to show you another item set that I feel like is kind of a secret uh, because it's an update of something that we had before. So if you guys aren't familiar, the Nintendo Switch Online app has something that's called Nook Link, okay? There's a special Animal Crossing section and you can go in every day, redeem coins and get new items. So some of these items I'm not really seeing people use and I think these are really cool. So I wanna show some of them off today. Uh, the first the first one being my favorite, okay? I think this is such a cute item. Uh, raccoon wall clock, let's check it out. I absolutely love this item. It is just like super simple, super basic. A Tanuki clock I think is is really cute. So yeah, all you have to do is get the Nintendo Switch Online app and redeem coins every single day. And then when you, you know, use your coins to buy items, they'll go right to your mailbox. So this next thing right here is Nook Ink Toilet Paper. I don't know if that's a quarantine joke. I think it's a sick joke, all right? But there you go. If you wanted toilet paper, I think this is the only way to get toilet paper in the game. The next one is super cool. Nook Ink Cushion. Look at this thing. You can actually sit on it too, which is really amazing. Um, so that's awesome. So, okay. I said the wall clock was my favorite. This is probably a close second. Uh, it is a Nook Ink balloon and I like this item a little too much. Okay. This is like Animal Crossing, Party City vibes. Like I, I just love this and it, and it moves like the, the physics on it is so great. I think you can trip and fall and lose it, but look at this thing. I love it. It's amazing. Before we go into this next one, I think personally, this is the coolest secret ever in Animal Crossing. All right. I don't, I don't know what else could beat it, but I think this is awesome. So you need two items. Okay. You need two items to make this secret work. The first thing is called the magic circle flooring. The next thing is the candles walls. Okay. The candles wall. All right. Uh, both of these items, of course, you can get from Sahara. These are special. Uh, you can't ca you can't uh, catalog them or anything. I want to show you this because I think this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in Animal Crossing. Okay, so let's put down this magic circle flooring. All right, so here it is, and as you can see, nothing you know, nothing out of the ordinary. It's just a flooring. You know, I'll turn the lights, nothing happens or anything. Uh, the magic happens when you have another item called the candles wall. Okay. So let's place that on the wall and looks pretty spooky. I'll admit it looks pretty spooky, but still nothing like nothing's really happening. All right. I'm just not going to say anything. And to activate this, you are actually going to want to turn off the lights. So I'm going to turn off the lights and here we go. What the heck is that? Are you kidding me? So I don't really know. I don't know if this is a reference to anything, but if you have these two, uh, you know, flooring and wallpaper combo and you shut the lights off, you can like perform some sort of a ritual. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how someone discovered this, but I think this is absolutely amazing and probably one of the best secrets in Animal Crossing. All right. This next one is about Luna. And it's kind of crazy to me because every single NPC seems like has gotten an update, including Luna. Okay. So when you go into this dream menu for the first time, this will actually pop up on your screen. And this is just a new way to search for a dream. So let's go to, I want to dream. And of course we'll have to connect to the internet. And I thought this was a really cool update just in case like you maybe lost the code or something to an Island. You can actually search the island by name. Okay. So let's just go on here and let's go by search by island name. This is a brand new feature that they added. Now I want to go to, let's go to my second island. So let's do horror land, which is the name of my, uh, my second island. So let's search that up horror land. I forgot my code. I don't know what the code is. So let's see if Luna can find it connecting to the internet. And, uh, this is cool. I mean, I could see this also getting like, you know, very crowded. I mean, how many people have like COVID as their island name? 
Uh, okay, here we go. Let's see how many horror lands they are. Okay, actually quite a bit. A lot more than I thought. What the heck? All right, but this is actually mine right here, Patrick. And then, you know, it gives the, the name and also gives the DA. Uh, so in case you want to like write it down or something like that. So yeah, this one is mine right here. I can tell by the villagers and I, I recognize the code of mine. So, I mean, I don't know. This could be helpful if like an island has a very unique name. Uh, but I can also see this, like, I mean, there's 20 options. So if you didn't know me and you didn't know my code or anything, it could be hard to find. But I thought this was cool enough to share. All right. And finally, we have uh, our last three are all going to take place in the roost. Okay. There's a lot of secrets with the roost, by the way. We went over uh, a major, you know, Brewster's item set in the last video. This time, I want to start with the amiibo kiosk because there's really, really cool sort of secrets and Easter eggs that you can do. So I'm going to scan in someone, and this is the first one. Uh, okay, the amount of characters that you can scan in is pretty amazing. So I just uh, swiped in Pete, okay? And Pete is a very old villager from the previous games. Pete is not in New Horizons at all, okay? Nintendo actually added in so many characters from past games. It's, it's crazy, okay? Uh, I swiped in... Copper and Booker. I swiped in all of the, uh, you know, the event NPCs. And as you can see right here, Pete, my boy Pete, is in the roost. Uh, he has, like, little dialogue and things like that. Usually folks only call me up when their mail is missing. So, like, he was the mailman in previous games. I just thought that this was, like, one of the most charming secrets. Now, you do have to have the amiibo cards. However, you can come into the roost and see characters like, I've seen Rossetti, uh, Don Rossetti, and those characters aren't in this game either, but I just thought this was an awesome secret. On the other side of things, another secret that you can do is if you invite villagers that lived in your town before, you will actually get special dialogue, okay? So I'm inviting Bunny. Now, Bunny was one of my uh, favorite villagers that lived on my island for quite a bit. So we will see if this is true. Uh, thanks for waiting. We've contacted Bunny. Uh, so not only can you do older NPCs, but you can do, of course, every villager in this game. But if they've lived on your island before, they will have special dialogue. So let's talk to Bunny here. I'm so sorry that I was running late, Patrick. So she remembers me. Like, obviously, she knows my name. It's not my style to keep folks waiting. Uh, I miss you so much, Bunny. Please come back. Relaxing alone with a warm cup of coffee is nice, but it's even better talking with a bestie. If that doesn't warm your heart, I don't know what does. The fact that villagers remember us is pretty amazing. All right, and finally, this has to do with your friends coming over. Now, uh, just to, you know, tell you what's going on. I have zero bells, okay? Now, Brewster has my back, all right? So I have zero bells, and uh, Carleen... Little cutie over there has no bells, okay? So we're hashtag poor boys, all right? Let's see if Brewster will help me out. Listen, I'm trying to impress my girl. Brewster's here. I don't have bells. Let's see what happens. Let's sit down. And here we go. Right, that's two cups of coffee, so 400 bells total. How will you be paying? Uh, I'll cover it. Understood, Patrick. You'll be paying for everyone. Tell you what. I'll bring you out as much coffee as you can pay for, and it's waters for the rest. I'll have those out in a moment. <laughs> this is amazing, by the way. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, okay. All right. Thanks for waiting. Your drinks are ready. Here you go. Brewster gave us water. Okay? I didn't know this was a thing. Look at that. Nothing quenches thirst like water. I agree. So, you can go to the roost... And even if you don't have bells or anything, he will give you water. Now, this is not how I am in real life, but, but this is amazing. I thought this was so cute. All right, so there you go, guys. Those are more 2.0 secrets. Like I said, there is plenty more uh, and plenty more that I was going to include in this video, but it was getting a little bit long. Let me know in the comments if you want part three and let me know what I missed. Come on. Keep them coming, guys. I like doing these. Uh, thanks, guys, so much for watching. Peace out.